Buonasera. My name is Maurizio Paparo, chef owner of the Excelsior Inn a Ristorante Italiano. Well, welcome to my house. Tonight, we're going to uh, deal with a little bit of swordfish. After all these days home and eating a lot of pasta, I decided it was time to go to the fish market and get myself a little bit of swordfish. So we're doing a, a small portion of swordfish. Swordfish is important not to cut it too thick and to cook it relatively fast. So I had it cut like half an inch thick steak. Um, the style of tonight is uh, swordfish alla puttanesca. Now puttanesca, you know, I, I know everybody's going to ask me what, what, what it means. Well, puttanesca is like a very old world, uh, you know, vice of the night back in the south, Naples area. You come back home a little night after working maybe the street too long and uh, going home you always find uh, ingredients that uh, were a staple, you know, uh, uh, dry olives, anchovy, capers, garlic, a little oregano, a little chili pepper. Typically it's made with spaghetti. Everybody had spaghetti in the house and it really takes five, six minutes to make the sauce, seven minutes to cook the spaghetti at two, three, four in the morning. My friend, that was a substantial meal. Uh, tonight we're going to do it with swordfish and we're going to use fresh cherry tomatoes. You can also do it with canned tomatoes. Again, we are dealing with quarantine here and uh, we have to do the best we can. I'm drinking actually a lovely wine from Iris Vineyards right here off Lorraine Highway. Uh, this is a Pinot Noir, deep block, very young, so it's uh, perfect for uh, uh, a dish like swordfish, which is a uh, you know, if I was doing like halibut, probably a, a pinot would be a little bit too much. If I was doing a tuna or swordfish, a pinot noir would be a lovely uh, pairing with it. Iris Seal is a great location right outside uh, Eugene. You can bring a picnic. Right now you have to call because uh, I have no idea how this uh, quarantine is affecting everybody. Um, but it drinks lovely. It's uh, just very uh, young. It's 2017. I'm going to start my uh, cooking demonstration here by um, dropping the wine. So this is a fast dish. I have a, a little cast iron uh, grill getting really hot. Swordfish is out to get a little bit tempered. You see the ingredients. Uh, I have olive oil, anchovy, capers, garlic, uh, uh, and uh, oregano, chili pepper. Now the anchovy is uh, a must. You don't like it, you don't to put it in, but it is a must, so you should put it in. And you want to let it disintegrate into the olive oil. Once that's disintegrated, which creates the flavor, let's go back a long, long time ago, um, then we add the garlic, turn the heat very low, and uh, add the tomato, turn it very, very low, we cook the swordfish, so everything happens like wah wah, quickly. So we're getting the oil heated, so the oil is eating, and I'm making sure it's nice and hot. And then I'm just going to add the, um, sort of, uh, the um, anchovies in. So when we add the anchovy, you make sure that they actually they uh, disintegrate into the oil. And I'm flavoring the oil right now. Turn it down a little bit. So now you smell the anchovy. You can smell it by uh, the video. I bet you. Now a little bit of anchovy never killed anybody. Now lots of anchovy can kiss anybody for a week, but that's a different topic. Now as I'm cooking this, I remind you that you're going to be able to work all this out with the Dan Athletic Club the video training session. Great people over there. They get you a, a good sweat. And that way you can come back and cook this food and enjoy it without guilt. So now the anchovy are disintegrated at the end. We're going to add the garlic. We're going to add the chili pepper. Mmm, smells delicious by the way. And then we're going to add the uh, tomato. So you can see the tomato, we don't want it to uh, disintegrate anything. Now this is almost like a fresh salsa, beautiful weather tonight. 
I'm going to add the olives. I'm going to add the capers. I'm going to add the oregano. You know, when you add the oregano, it's always nice to take it between your finger and um, grind it a little bit, which will release the flavors. Um, just like in between your finger like that. We're going to add a touch of salt. Again, not very much. You have anchovy, capers, and olives. So the salt is extremely important that you don't overdo it. You can always add salt afterwards. So right now the sauce is at low, low heat. I'm going to take the uh, uh, swordfish, just a little bit of lemon juice. My pan is very hot. And all this is going to happen really fast. So I'm going to put the swordfish in one side. One, two, three, and four. Swordfish, this thin, is not going to take very long to cook. Literally, maybe a, a minute on each size when you turn it you're ready to turn off the pan because it's going to continue cooking otherwise you overcook it so the fish is also not great if you undercook it so you want to be more safe and be a little bit more on the down sides mm. delicious so let's look at the sauce because the sauce is ready you can see the tomato are still intact the flavors have been released a little bit of glazing. Swordfish is finally done. Maybe four minutes, two minutes on each side. We're going to plate it. Now this is a sauce that uh, even if you didn't have the swordfish and you have you want to do a little bit of pasta and put your swordfish with your spaghetti, the swordfish will crumble into it. So you can make a beautiful sauce with a swordfish and puttanesca sauce. It's really delicious. Uh, and do a bruschetta with it. You know, it's such a simple sauce, but so much flavor. Remember, only if you put the anchovy. If you don't anchovy, forget about it. So this is a sort of fish puttanesca, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next time. I don't know yet what I'm going to do next time, but in between, work out with the Dantana Athletic Club a, a series of training uh, video. Uh, remember, Excelsior Inn, we will be reopened as soon as they give us the uh, go-ahead. We'll be running back to the restaurant because after, after 30 months, I'm telling you, I'm ready. So, salute, arrivederci, a presto. Ciao.